Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a video about five products that I was upset that I liked. For the most part, these are either products that are more high-end than I'm used to purchasing and they don't really last as long as I would like them to, or they're products that I had originally mentioned in like my weekly wish list or washout as being a washout and then tried them and ended up actually liking them. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this idea and you want to see any more videos in the future, and I hope you'll subscribe and hit the little bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. Also, I did film this look today. It's going to be up on a two looks one palette with the BH Cosmetic Zodiac palette. If that's already up I'll go ahead and link it above but if not don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned. Okay so the first product that I'm going to talk about is a primer from YSL and this is the Touche Eclat Blur Primer. I got this little sample from Sephora during um, one of their like online code promos. Spend $25 and you can get a free like little sample. I've pretty much used almost all of this except for like a little bit right here at the bottom. This is actually a really good primer <laughs> it's a bit extra it's supposed to have like little pieces of like gold in here I don't know if it's supposed to be like real gold or whatnot but I love this underneath all types of foundations except for super light coverage like BB creams this doesn't work well under BB creams but it does work well under like the rest of the foundations that I really enjoy it really works well on my combination skin and makes my makeup last throughout the day and it actually when you first put it on it feels so luxurious and smooth and like I just keep I want to keep like rubbing my face because I love the way that this feels on my skin and I'm really upset because like the full size of this primer is like $75 I don't know if I'll ever actually buy it I mean, this was a free sample. I'll, I mean, I will give it to them. This was a good sized sample. I used this for a while before I used up the majority of it. I'll give them that. They do give out good sized samples, but then again, like, it's so expensive to buy the full size. So I probably won't buy the full size, but if there is an opportunity for me to sample it again, either like this or in the store, I would jump on it. The next product that I was actually really upset that I liked is a foundation from Chantecaille. If you've been watching my channel for the past couple of weeks, you're probably sick of hearing of this foundation. But when I first tried it out in store, I got, not a makeover, but um, a Chantecaille representative inside of Blue Mercury did my base makeup because I already had my eye makeup on. I was going around with nothing on my face. And she put this on mixed in with a highlighter, like a liquid highlighter, and it looked incredible. So I bought the foundation and I bought the concealer that she used, um, but I didn't buy the highlighter that she mixed in. I was like, I don't know if it's going to look as good, you know, without the highlighter, but I tr came home, tried it out. Sure enough, this has become my favorite foundation out of all of my foundations. I don't know what it is. I think it has to do with the fact that it's supposed to be a gel formula and my skin is just working really well with it. I've gotten this a couple of weeks ago and I am more than halfway through the jar. One thing I don't like the packaging like I wish this was like a squeezy tube that I could like pump out. I don't like having to get like a brush and like scoop it out um, and I don't think it's that hygienic but I love the foundation. I love the formula. It is a great shade match for me. I don't have to mix anything with it. Again this is like an 80 something dollar foundation. And I'm also upset at it because I can't get it anywhere that I normally buy makeup. That's another thing. I got this at a Blue Mercury. I don't shop there that often. I tend to shop mostly at Sephora, Ulta, and then for my drugstore makeup, I'll go to CVS. So that's another reason why this is kind of a pain in the butt to get. Because if I want to get this foundation again, I'll either have to go to the Blue Mercury, which is like 20 minutes away. Or I will have to order it directly from their website online. And then either way, I'm not really building up points either at Sephora or Ulta. So that is my dilemma. I love this foundation and I kind of, I'm really upset that I love it. <laughs> the next item that I was actually really upset that I liked is a palette. And this palette is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is the Soft Glam Palette. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in a weekly wishlist or a washout and talked about how boring it looked and how there were so many repeat shades. But I saw it in store. I went and I swatched a bunch of the colors and I was blown away. So total impulse, impulse just grabbed it and I was always thinking you know if you don't like it if you know you have too many repeats if you don't think you need it you could always return it and then I used it a few times and then I used it a couple more times and every single time I use this 
I got such a lovely soft glam look and and I'm really upset that I liked it because originally I talked so much shit about this palette and about how it was boring and about how you really don't need it and but I liked it so it just goes to show you no matter what you think like what your first impressions might be on a product you never really know until you see it in store until you swatch it until you actually try out the product because I actually really like this palette and the last two products that I have to talk about that I was upset that I liked, they're both mascaras and they're both higher end mascaras. The first one is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. The second one is another product from Chantecai. This is the Chantecai Faux Sils Longest Lash Mascara in Black. I got the Marc Jacobs as a sample in my Sephora Play box, so I get that monthly. I pay $10, and once a month, Sephora sends me a little box with a bunch of little samples in it, and one month, the Marc Jacobs mascara was one of them. I tried it out. At that point, I had been in love with my Essence mascara, and I was using that daily, and then I tried out the Marc Jacobs. The Marc Jacobs totally dethroned the Essence Mascara. I loved this so much. It got to the point where I was using it so often that I'm pretty sure that I dried it out long before it might have dried out. I had this for two months. It's a nice little sample size. So I used this for two months. You're really only supposed to keep mascara, liner, and the such for three months max just to minimize the chance of any like infections or bacteria and whatnot. Um, but I held on to the packaging just so I could use it for this video. I haven't used it in a while, but back when I did use it, it was my favorite mascara. It's got the same kind of wand as the Too Faced Better Than Sex where it's like an hourglass shape, but I don't know if it's just because this is a sample size or if this, this is the actual brush, but this size and shape brush was perfect for my eyes. Sometimes I struggle with mascara because the wands are so big and my eyes are so small and hooded that if the wand is too big, it's going to go straight onto my lids and there goes my entire eyeshadow look, you know? But this was the perfect size, the perfect shape, the formula really volumized on my lashes. It made it look like I was wearing false lashes when I wasn't and I loved it. So I used the hell out of this. I still haven't brought myself to buy the full size. The full size of this, it's only around 26 I think. It's less than $30, but more than $20. I know that much. So maybe someday in the future I will buy a full size of this, but I do have an entire tub of mascara in my collection that I need to work through. This just happens to be one of my favorites, and I was upset that I ended up liking it, because mascara is something, like, because you can only use it for a couple of months and because it doesn't really last that long. I've always thought, you know, always get your mascara from the drugstore. Just always do it. There's no need to pay extra to get a good mascara. But unfortunately, the Marc Jacobs proved me wrong. <laughs> and the last product that I have to talk about is the mascara from Chantecai. I got this as a sample when I bought the foundation and the concealer from Chantecai, so I didn't actually purchase this. It was kind of like a gift with purchase. I'm really upset that I like this mascara. It is an amazing formula. It's got the greatest little brush right here. It fits my eye perfectly. It's spread out enough to really coat every lash and lengthen them and make them volumized. I'm wearing it today, and when I wear this mascara, my whole look comes together. It doesn't make it look like I'm wearing falsies, but it just really bumps up my natural lashes to an incredible degree, an incredible noticeable degree. This is also supposed to contain their like eyelash serum, something or other, I know she explained it to me, where it's supposed to help your eyelashes grow over time and as long as you use this every day, you'll see your eyelashes grow. I already have thick eyelashes, so I really don't worry about that, but I have seen over the past couple of weeks that I've used this, I've seen like more volume come to my lashes, even when I'm not wearing makeup. So that might be attributed to this. It might be attributed to me just looking too much at my lashes. But I'm really upset that I like this because this is an $80 mascara. Yep, this is an $80 mascara. I'm still using it. Um, I, we haven't hit the three month mark yet. So once we do, I'll probably stop using it. I don't know if I'll ever bring myself to actually buy the full size of this because it's just $80 for a mascara is ridiculous no matter how good it is. No matter how good it is.
So that's everything for this video all about products I was upset that I liked. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know down below what products were you upset that you liked. And I hope you subscribe before you leave and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!